guys welcome back to another video here from the rc dungeon <clears throat> i've been uh getting a lot of questions uh people asking like the local guys here that are starting to get more into the scale stuff about uh about doing like their leaf setups and stuff um so i'm just kind of doing this maybe like some tips and tricks um uh, if you guys watch this video, you know, about, you know, leaf setups, um, how I got my truck set up, what works for me. Uh, and you got to always keep in mind that what works for somebody might what work for me might not work for someone else. Uh, so we're going to do this, designate this video as a um, just leaf tech, I'm going to call it. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to go over how I have my stuff set up. And put this video out because I, I mean, I know there's plenty of other videos out there and better channels um, that you can look this information up on. But uh, I figured I'd go ahead and do one. You can see I've got the loft done in the top corner of the of the R, the RC garage here, and uh, got my stuff. I still got to build my staircase. Uh, got a staircase to build and some railings and stuff of that nature to put up. But we do got it, do got it done. We got plenty of room up there for what we need. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some cool stuff up there in the loft. We've already got our um, our table and stuff up there. I did my homemade light kit. Uh, I'm not gonna go over how I did that, but I kind of did like the, to give it that old school uh, vibe, like an old incandescent light bulb look, like would be in an old garage. I thought I kind of got that pretty close. Um. Just everything I used was the cheapest stuff I could find. Uh, most of it, uh, pretty much all of it did come from the Dollar Tree, so. Uh, with that being said, let's get into, let's get into everything here. Uh, the whole leaf spring thing. So, right right off the bat, um, when it comes to, to the leaf springs, uh, <clears throat> there's no real necessarily wrong way from what I've learned how you really want them set up other than going with just a single leaf in my opinion that's a big no-no um, now how I pretty much do mine uh, and I'll go over the differences in the trucks here in a second uh, we got our stack of tires here to use for measurement I figured it was fitting to do it here in the garage. So the first truck we're going to start off with, okay, is a truck that has a completely broken in set of standard, not the super softs, a uh, set of completely standard, completely broken in uh, leafs on it, okay? And this, this setup works phenomenal they're not super softs they're not reds or anything painted they're just regular leafs um that have been broken in on your standard trail finder 2 truck that actually works fantastic guys you can watch the videos i have uh this truck is a tank how i mean how i have it set up it it, it goes phenomenal for a leaf truck being rc four-wheel drive stuff there's no reverse shackles on it you know, it doesn't need it. Um, the only thing I did to this truck is it's running the 90 millimeters uh, shocks in the back. And it's running the 80 millimeter shocks in the front. Um, with no internal shock springs. And it's running the main leaves all the way around. With the, I think the medium. Let me go ahead and just step in here just so I don't tell you wrong. Uh, so we got the front is the main, the rear is the main, and then I have the medium in the front and then the medium in the back. There's not even an any rat right bar on, on, on this truck, and it's heavy, guys. Um, this is just a very well-used, broken-in set of leaf springs on this truck. Um, and I'm doing this with my battery in, which is just a you know, 3S pack. Um... How I tend to try to get mine set up, and get it here off of that so it's sitting level. Um, how I tend to do mine, uh, 
I make sure I try to get everything in it that I'm going to be running in the truck. Um, like weight wise, like driver, all your scale stuff. Uh, that, that, that kind of stuff right there, that, that is how you're going to want to set one up. Okay. Um, that's how I'd recommend it. Like if you're going to put like a heavy bumper, put your heavy bumper. Um, I mean, you can always go back and keep the parts you take off and tweak and tune. Uh, that's how I'm doing my blazer because I've added weight and taken weight off and added parts and then changed this. This is how I do when I do a build. Um, but Starting off here, like I said, this is the standard setup, medium leaf, main leaf, medium leaf, main leaf, medium leaf, and these are standard leaf springs, no super softs or anything like that on this truck. Um, they're just very well broken in, lots of miles on this truck. It had a lot of miles on it when I got it. Um, now, he did tell me it had a newer, it, it had maybe 15, 20 trail runs on it, on, but it had still was a newer, newer leaf pack for him, so... That's how this one's set up. It has the weight in the front wheels, okay? It has 65 grams of the brass SSD wheel weights in each wheel in the front. So, yeah, you know, there you go all together. It's got like 130 grams weight in the front wheels, which has caused me no problems with braking diffs or anything. You guys can watch the videos uh, on this truck, and, and I, I'm, I'm not easy on it. It gets used, okay? So... This is just a well broken in set of trail finder, uh, you know, standard trail finder two leaf springs running, no internal springs in your shocks, run, excuse me, running your medium leafs front and back. Okay, so this is your rear. There you go. And all the wheels are on the ground. Nothing is off the ground here. Everything's sitting. Now, you got this to granite. That roll bar adds quite a bit of weight in the back. Um, but there's your flex. That's pretty good, okay, for a leaf spring truck. That's, I don't know what that equates into. We'll go ahead and throw the third one on here, and then the wheels will, will be coming off. You can see my front wheels are touching. This one is just barely off the ground. So we got a three-tire. There's no Chino Mods. There's no O-ring mods, none of that stuff. You guys don't got to do all that stuff. I mean, you can. Like I said, there's no wrong way of doing it. But we're just running RC four-wheel drive stuff. This is what I've gotten, okay? That's pretty phenomenal, okay? You just really got to break the leaf springs in, guys. And weight does help. Tremendously, the weight helps. Um, like I said, this added quite a bit of weight to my rear roll bar. Uh, I mean to the truck in the back, but I generally because you can't really put brass stuff and I'm not a huge fan of the brass stuff, but <clears throat> You can't really put the brass stuff on uh, on, on these trucks, you know like component parts So, you know, I like the SSD version 2 wheels because you can put the brass internal rings in them now you can put the the cheap uh, you can go on Amazon and buy like the stick on weights and use them on your other rings in your other wheels. So there's our there's our rear, and that's that's pretty phenomenal. Okay, guys, that that's good for a leaf truck. Like I said, this is what you can come to expect. You just got to put the time in breaking it in. Uh, here's the front flex. This is the two tire stack. You can see that everything's sitting flush on the ground. Everything's touching. That's the front flex. Um, now, really, that's pretty good for the front of this truck. Um, naturally, we, we go to this third wheel. Uh, it, it's it's going to be lifting the tire off the ground. So, we'll go ahead and toss this third wheel on here. Um, and you can see we're coming off the ground. Uh, you know, if I, if I had weight that I have in the front and the back of these, it would probably pull that back down, honestly. And then I, that's the flex you would be getting, which is phenomenal. You know, you can only flex these leaf spring trucks. You're going to start twisting them and bending them, even if you got any wrap bars and stuff. So, you know, I'm perfectly happy with that. That That's that's perfectly fine. Uh, so, you know, you've got a pretty tall tire stack here uh, worth of flex in the front of this. So, um, let me grab my... I don't know if there's nothing else I can really grab here. Uh, before we start seeing it come off the ground, maybe maybe it's a small roll of tape here, double-sided tape. Um, you see it's just now starting to come off the ground there with that. So, 
Um, but there's a broken in set of leaf springs, okay, um, for your truck. Uh, well, you know, just standard, other than the weight that I've added, that's just basically good old broken in RC four wheel drive leaf springs. That's plenty for me. I don't, I don't have used to run like those other buggy leaves and stuff like that with that setup. This works fine. Uh, so let's get the old forerunner out of the way here. Okay. And then we'll get, uh, this is a, we're going to, this is a non, no weight, non broken in set of leaf springs on basically a brand new, um, this is a long wheelbase, uh, but this is like standard leaf springs on a non-broken in truck. So we're going to grab Marty here. I have not ran this truck at all. I have not even ran it around inside my house. I got the string, sorry, from the glue here. So we got Marty here, okay? We got the Marty truck. So our two tire stack in the rear. This is running. <clears throat> this is running the main, main leaf, medium leaf, and then main leaf medium leaf in the front that's how i have this set up the main leaves and the medium leaves and i have set and i have worked this quite a bit with my hands just easy breaking them in so we're going to pull it up here and you can see already guys ta -da, front wheel off the ground this is just your standard setup uh standard trail finder two um you know, it's a long wheelbase, but it doesn't matter. It's the same leaf springs. Uh, so this is your standard setup on your Trail Finder 2 uh, truck. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you can see our front wheels off the ground already. There's no sense of going any farther. Now, if these were broken in, you know, obviously you just seen what broken in ones would do. Uh, it would be a lot better. And then, of course, our front. We're off the ground already back here. No sense of going any further. Once again, if these were broken in, you know, I'd be seeing here's my, here's the limit right there for that, for a 70 millimeter shock in the front. But I'd still be two tire stack if these leaves were broken in. Um, I'd be, I'd still be sitting with this down in, down here. I'd see what I'm saying? It would be sitting here. So even with the 70 millimeter shocks that's broken in, that, that, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, now the, the, the extended cap body is pretty heavy. Uh, so you do have that. Um, so let's take that off. So you can see, uh, you know, if, if this was broken in, right there you go. And it's only, you know, there's the rear. They're, they're only off the ground a little bit, okay? So once he's broken in, I'm not, I'm not really modifying this truck majorly uh, because in my opinion, it's, it's fine how it is. It just needs the leaf springs broken in. And I'm not doing stupid stuff with it. Um, you know, this isn't going to be a hardcore trail truck for me because... You know, I, that's not what I got it for. Uh, you know, I got trucks that I beat on. Uh, it's pretty obvious. But, you know, some of them, I take care of them. These are very expensive. You know, I'm a poor boy. So, uh, you know, it takes me a long time to save up money and make payments and buy stuff. So, um, you know, this truck wasn't one that I got to tear up and beat on. So, we got the Marlin next. Okay. So, the Marlin's next. Now, there's a battery in this one, too. I did it on purpose. The battery's in it. You can't see it up in there. I think there's a battery. No, there's no battery in this one. The battery's in the Blazer. Sorry, the battery's in the Blazer. So, you got... This is a Marlin. So, this comes with, you know, your standard Marlin. Comes with the, you know, soft, the super soft uh, leaf spring pack from the factory. And it comes with the CVD axles. It's really worth buying the Marlin, in my opinion. Um, by the way, I've added... Might as well go ahead and add in there. We got our uh, RC Plate Shop plates. Let me back it up here. Okay. Got those on there. Uh, on the Marlin. So... Anyways, this truck's a fair a little heavier... Uh, I've, I've, I've picked up a scale at a second hand place and weighing myself. Um, 
this is like a moderate weight truck. I've got the wheels weighted with internal stick on weights in the front. Uh, just, just because my terrain guys, I, I kind of need them here, uh, to do what I do. This is one of the trucks I do use on the trail harder. Not as hard, but I do use it. Um, so there you go. There's your two tire stack. And these leaves aren't completely even broken in yet, I wouldn't say. Um, I do got quite a bit of trail time on this Marlin. It, it's, and then this one's running, uh, the main leaf in the front of the Super Soft Pack the medium leaf that comes with the super soft pack in the front and then in the back i have switched it up i am running the super soft main in the back and then the regular spring pack leaf medium leaf in the back here so i do have it switched up a little bit on this truck uh because of the super softs and I am running an anti wrap bar. This is the AM anti wrap bar that's on this Marlin. But I am running the, the super soft spring pack comes with a longer spring, and, and I put it in the front to help pick my front end up a little bit because it was it was all, drooped down all the way and I wanted it to sit up a little higher in the front. So I went back to the super soft uh, main super soft front and then the long spring out of the super soft in, in the front uh, pack. And then the main leaf in the back is a super soft and the medium leaf out of a regular pack. And I know this stuff's going to sound confusing to people, but uh, I keep, I do have several people asking me about my stuff, setups and stuff. So, um, and then you can see the flex we got right here, guys. It's pretty good. Um, everything, you know, it's, it's bottomed out almost against my fender. You know, that's a good bit of, you know, everything's sitting fl flat down. Uh, the front isn't as good. Still yet, like I said, she's breaking in a little bit. Uh, still, I'm get, trying to get the set. You can see it's coming off the ground back here. Uh, I don't have any weight in the back wheels. I just got the weight in the front, and I don't have that much weight in the front either. This truck has, I think, around, I think it's like 40 grams maybe, all to, uh, or maybe it's 60 grams altogether. 60 grams in the front altogether on, those front, on these front wheels. So I'm not running any weight at all in the back. Um, and you can see these aren't broken, but these are the super soft. So it is going to allow you more travel right off the bang going with the super soft. Like I said, these are not completely broken in. You have to break in the super softs also as well. Okay. So there's the Marlin with the setup that I explained to you guys. Can you see the difference in all these? Okay, so let me slide this beast back in here. All right, so we got, let's grab our Forerunner here real quick, just to show you guys. Also, they're not broken in completely either. Okay, now this truck is very heavy. So we're gonna set the mar the, the Forerunner up here. Let me check and make sure we're still recording. Okay, so we got Pretty Boy Forerunner up here what I call it the money pit uh, this thing is heavy guys very heavy it's a heavy truck now I am running the super softs in the front with the super soft long spring that comes in the super soft pack in the front same as the Marlin super softs in the rear these were the red super softs with the medium leaf in the back. These are not broken in yet, guys. But this truck is super duper stupid heavy. Okay? It just is. Um, and I know I've got like some of the lights turned off. But I just wanted you guys to see the lights in, in the scale garage back here. So, that's why I did that. <clears throat> so, we got... We're going to pick it up here. We're going to show our, show our flex. Okay? So, there's our flex quite a bit there this truck is super heavy so everything touching the ground you guys can see the flex going on this also has the AM anti wrap bar uh, I'm thinking about going ahead and getting the uh, RC four-wheel drive anti wrap bar for this and moving the AM wrap bar to my red forerunner but this here you guys can go you can see the flex system but it's there's no weight in the wheels on the forerunner they're just boom racing pro builds. I didn't weight them. 
Uh, it's a scale truck. I drive it like a scale truck. I didn't see no use of putting weights in it. So we'll go to the third one here, but I know it's going to come off the ground because that's, that's really high. But you can see, now this is a three tire stack, guys. The only wheel that's off the ground a little bit is this one right here. And then I can barely, I can't even get that thing a tape. Okay, underneath that. That's as far as it'll go underneath that. So, it's, so the weight helps you. The weight does help you guys. Um, and that's a three tire stack. I can't see anybody needing any more flex than that. Um, yeah, that's me personally though. Um, you know, so we'll go to the front now. We'll start with our two in the front. Okay. You can see really good flex in the front there with the front with the front wheels that's that's really plenty of flex for a leaf truck we'll go ahead and go to the third one and we dang near can keep them flat on the ground right there with the three tire stack guys that's just rc four-wheel drive stuff no fancy buggy leaves no fancy aftermarket leaves no homemade leaf stuff that's just your super softs at about halfway broke in if these were completely broken in this bad boy wouldn't be coming off the ground at all and you can see I can't even probably get this is a pin it's just a regular pin it will just bear I can't even get it all the way underneath the tire okay and that's on a three tire stack in the front so once again real quick here this is the super softs reds with the long spring that comes in the super soft reds on the front and then the super soft main leaf red in the back and then the medium leaf from the a main the regular spring pack to keep my ass in from squatting as bad you can see i don't have the squat uh as bad or really much at all like other forerunners have because uh, I hate that looks like I crap my pants diaper look Because uh, this thing is heavy guys, you know, it's got the CC hand bumper stuff uh, You know, I've got a lot of weight on it um, But it's not even completely broken in once this thing's completely broken in uh, pfft, This thing's gonna be you know extreme flex. I mean that's three tire stacks. It pretty much flexes right there So I'll give you a measurement real quick and it'll be in millimeters. You guys can convert it. Okay. I've zeroed it out. Just a cheap Pittsburgh. You got to have one of these for your RC stuff, guys. Uh, so we'll do... If I can even do this properly here. Um, just the tire stacks alone. That is... A hundred... I'm not sure how to do this. This isn't going to work very well. Uh, let me see if I can find a tape measure real quick because that's not going to give us a proper measurement. Let me go we'll go ahead and do it in inches. We'll get a get a tape measure here. Okay. So we got that's over four inches. So this truck's getting four inches of flex. You guys can see right here probably. I don't know if you can make it out or not on the tape measure. You can see where the four inches is at. It's actually over four inches. So this truck's getting four inches of suspension travel with that setup on it. Um, but that's that's the forerunner. So I'm gonna pause this video and then we'll come back to our last truck that I wanted to do. All right guys, so we're back and you'll see the TF3 is in the house. So <clears throat> we have the Trail Finder 3 sitting out here. Uh, it's got some upgrades that are coming forward this is actually another one of my favorite trucks um why everybody hates on the tf3 is completely beyond me uh, i've tried to talk rc four-wheel drive uh into helping me do <coughs> excuse me some promotional stuff uh on the channel with the tf3 to kind of promote it because i think it's a great platform i know guys crap on it and i have no idea why it's probably one of the most capable out of all the trucks that i have other than the red forerunner in my opinion it's it's better than the marlin i mean mine wants better uh but that's me and you know anyhow uh this truck has the ssd wheels like the red one has but these are the chrome ones <coughs> um period correct 
for one of these trucks. Uh, just standard suspension setup. Now, the Trail Finder 3, I am going to do a comparison video series coming up on the Trail Finder 3. And we're going to use, just right off the bat, I'm going straight to my Marlin. And we're going to be taking the running the same wheels and tires on both platforms, okay? And we're going to weigh them on camera. We're going to get everything wrote down. And I'm going to show you guys why the Trail Finder 3 is technically better. Now, with that being said, this Trail Finder 3 is completely pretty much broken in. It could probably use a little more trail time on the leaf springs, but this truck has seen some trail use, guys, for real. Uh, it was used and abused and messed up when I got it a little bit and took me a while to straighten it out. But I would say the leaves, leaf springs on this would probably break in a little more over time if I let it. <clears throat> so, anyways, this is what we got. We got the Trail Finder 3. This is a setup. No any wrap bar on this truck okay my little homemade cherry bomb glass pack exhaust <coughs> excuse me there's no anti wrap bar this thing has the u-bolts on it um it gets a little deflection it ain't terrible if it was going to break i'd have broke it already because i'm rough on this truck um so we got the main leaf we got the medium and we got the medium that's it main leaf medium medium same setup that's on old red okay I feel like I'm copying RC every day when I say old red, but I don't know what else to call that four runner because it's old red. Um, so we got the Trail Finder 3. We got the 130 grams of weight, 65 and 65 in each wheel in the front. I do have 65 and 65 in the back. So all four of these are weighted. And it doesn't have the full interior. It just has the cheap interior in this one for right now. So we're going to go to our two tire... Two tire uh, stack flex and you can see everything is sitting down on the ground on the trail trail finder three so you got a two a two tire flex or two wheel flex or whatever on the trail finder three now i will say the trail finder three has 90 millimeter shocks in the front and 90 millimeter shocks in the rear right off the bat with taller shock hoops so that's a big plus for the trail finder three over the trail finder two right off the get-go Unless you get the Marlin. So if you're comparing the Trail Finder 2 and the TF3, you already get the longer shocks and the taller shock hoops already on the Trail Finder 3. So that's a pretty good deal. Now if we go to the 3, obviously it's going to be off the ground. There you go. You can see the difference there. Okay? But that's still pretty good. 2 in the back is nothing to sneeze at there. Uh... You know what I mean? Like I said, these leaf springs probably do still have a little bit of breaking in to do. Um, so, that was the back. We're going to go in the front. We got our two two tire stack in the front. Okay. There's our two tire. It is coming off the ground a little bit here. Um, like I said, the pack could probably still be, you know, breaking in. But that's pretty good flex right there off the get-go. There's no added weight to this truck at all other than what's in the wheels. So, I mean, my Marlin is is actually a lot heavier than this truck is. Uh, the Red 4Runner is way heavier than this truck is. So, there's the flex on the... I'm going to dub it White Lightning here. Okay, that's what I call this truck. Um, because it's got the two-speed and second gear, this thing hauls butt. Uh, and I like that. So, um there you guys go that's the trail finder three and that's not completely broken in leaf springs probably they could they're not quite as broken in as well as the red truck what i'm trying to equate this down into guys you have to break these leaf springs in for rizal uh it takes a while take your time before you change a bunch of stuff run the truck the best modification is is the driver modification learn to drive your truck uh, I know this is a long video, but I'm just trying to pass along things that I've learned, um, you know, over the years that helped, that's helped me out. I'm just trying to pass it along to everybody. Um, you got to really take your time and focus on what you're doing, especially with these leaf spring trucks, 
before going out and blowing tons of money and buying like all these aftermarket parts with like crazy expensive different leaf spring setups and everything take the time break in the leaf springs you have drive the truck learn to drive the truck learn its limitations and then modify it to push it farther that's the best thing i can tell you right off the get-go with any of these rc four-wheel drive trucks they're not going to perform like a link truck, but in my opinion, in some various cases, the leaf springs actually perform better in some areas uh, when it comes to trail stuff. And that's just how I feel. Uh, that's me. So, anyways, there is some Trail Finder RC Full Wheel Drive tech tips for everybody to help them out. That's my best setups that I like. I'm sharing it with everybody. It does work. You guys can watch my videos. Uh, I have very minimal, when I'm recording that, there's like very minimal reset times. Uh, I go on some pretty hard trails with most of my trucks. Um, the orange truck in the one video struggled because it's not broken in at all. It is very heavy truck, so the leaf springs should break in faster. So if you want to break in your leaf springs, you know, faster, add some weight. And they'll break in way faster, guys. So from the RC Dungeon, I've talked. I've rambled. It's been going on long enough. I hope everybody stays on here and watches this entire video. I appreciate everybody subscribing. I hope everybody digs the new garage setup. From the RC Dungeon, as always, peace. You want to give a peace sign, little Dungeon Master? Peace. There you go. All right, guys. Guys and gals. Till next time.